Do you have questions on IT certifications? In this video, we're going to discuss some of the most common questions people ask me about getting certified. Things like, do I need to be certified? How many certifications should I have? And more. Hi, my name is Mike Gibbs. I'm an enterprise architect with about 25 years experience and I've spent more than two decades helping people just like you get your first tech job, get promoted in tech. And today we're gonna to talk about certifications. Now, the first question I'm gonna cover is, do I need certifications? And the answer is, it depends where you're at in your career. If you have 25 years experience of reach director or VP level, certifications are not gonna do much for you in your career at that point because what you're doing is executive type function evaluation of trade-offs leading large teams typically at that point uh, presentations to the c-suite and the board and none of those things are covered in certifications now let's talk about getting your first job let's say you're like me and you went from medical professional to network architect now at that point i did a lot of certifications the ccna the ccnp and the ccie and they helped me immensely so Certifications can be great for you because they can build your brand, they can help you get interviews, and they can help you when you have no experience stand out. So the answer is, do you need certifications in the beginning of your career? Yes, get two to three certifications. Now later, we'll talk about those certifications. These certifications are gonna boost your brand, they're gonna help you stand out, and they're gonna get you interviews. The answer is, for most people, you need certifications. They'll serve you well from early career to mid-career, and then after that, it's more about your executive skills and and other things that you'll do thereafter. The question is, when should I get certified? Now, this is a really tricky one, and most people make some critical certification mistakes here, and I'll explain when is the best time to get certified. Right before you're ready to get hired, right before you're ready to go on interviews, that's the time to get certified, and here's the reason why. For most modern jobs, like a cloud architect or a solutions architect or an enterprise architect or a security architect or a cloud security architect or a distinguished engineer or a principal engineer, there's nothing in a certification that's ever going to get you the job. A certification is a validation of some of the things that you learn, but it won't get you a job on its own. Now, what will get you a job on its own? The right skills. If you're skilled for the job, you can be hired at any point. But if you're certified without skills, you're like a beautifully wrapped up box with a wrapping paper and a bow without the substance inside, and then you typically won't get hired. So what I want you to do is get trained for your career, develop all the skills for your career, and as soon as you know you have the skills to get hired, then go out there and get the right certifications, and the right certifications will make people see you. You will stand out, they'll build your portfolio, and then they'll be more likely to get you an interview. And with all these extra interviews, all the things that you learned prior to get certified will get you hired. So when should you get certified is after you have the skills to do the job right before you're ready to interview to show the world you're ready. Now, the next question is, how many certifications do I need? Now, I'm going to give you the hiring manager perspective. I'm also going to give you the perspective of a person that's done over 6,000 interviews of other technology professionals. The optimal number of certifications is usually between two to three very strategic powerful, difficult conversations. And I'm going to explain to you why. If we deal with the more simple certifications, they're so entry level that they're not as good as AI and they're generally speaking not enough uh, to get seriously recognized. When we deal with the harder certifications, and I'll tell you what they are in a minute and like what I mean by this, what you're doing is showing the hiring manager that you're willing to go above and beyond, that you're energetic, enthusiastic, and passionate about the work, that you want to fight to be the best, and you're competitive about being great. No, those are attributes that hiring managers need. So I like to say two to three certifications. Now, two to three strong, powerful certifications will show you as a leader. They will show you where someone that can execute and get things done, and they will show your energy, enthusiasm, and passion. Some examples are for a cloud security architect, I would use the CISSP, the CCSP, and the CISM. Likewise, for a cloud architect, I might you do something like an AWS Solutions Architect Professional, a TOGAF 10, and a CISSP for basic security. These are big certifications, they're bold certifications, and they help you stand out because only 5 to 10% of the population has the best certification. So when you get the best skills and you get the best certifications, and only two or three, which shows your focus and ability to get things done, you'll be great in your career, which will help you get hired. 
Now, the next one is which certifications will make you stand out. Now, when it comes to getting hired and you lack experience, if you want to get a great job, we always train people to be in the top 25% of the skills. So everything about you, when you want to build your career, when you want to get promoted, when you want to get a new job that's not entry level, you've got to be in the top 25% of the people that are there. Now, how do you show that? You show that with top 10 to 25% certifications plus the other things that are on your resume. So the certifications that will make you stand out are the CCIE or the CCDE, both from Cisco, both expert level certifications, uh, from AWS, for example, the AWS Solutions Architect Professional, from Microsoft, the Azure Solutions Architect Expert, typically speaking, from Google, the Professional Cloud Architect, the CISSP in security, the CCSP in security, the CISM in security, these are those real types that make you stand out. Now, maybe we have some engineers and there's a Red Hat certified engineer, which could be good for a cloud engineer in addition to some of these things. But what you're seeing is they're professional. There are professional level or better certifications. They're hard certifications to get and most people won't be willing to do them. And that means when you have them, you're standing out on top. And you know, managers typically like those four E's, that uh, energy, which is which me energy for the work, the enthusiasm for the work, execution or the ability to get stuff done, or edge, which is competitiveness. And when you go out there and knock out a CCIE or knock out a CISSP and CCSP, you prove you're willing to go above and beyond, do whatever it takes to be successful, and you're even gonna get some better knowledge along the way. I hope you enjoyed this video on IT certifications. Do you need them? Uh, which certifications should you get? How many certifications do you need and which certifications will make you stand out? Now, if you'd like to become a cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, AI architect, or any other kind of architect, join us on a completely free architecture webinar. On these webinars, which we hold once a week, we'll talk about what we do as architects. We'll talk about the skills that you need to become, say, a cloud architect versus a security architect. We'll talk about everything you need to do. And then after that, we'll be live on Zoom completely free and answer any career questions you have. Maybe you want us to look at your resume and see if you're ready for a cloud architect job where you're, where you're not getting interviews for a solutions architect job, for example. Or you want us to test your readiness and you want me to give you a mini cloud architect interview or a mini solutions architect interview or a mini enterprise architect to see if you're ready to go apply. I'll do it completely free on these webinars. You can sign up for the How to Get Your First Cloud Architect webinar uh, in, in the description of this video, along with many other free resources in the description of this video, like how to win the interview and other things. So go check it out in the description of this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to assist you in your IT architecture career, like cloud architecture, enterprise architecture, security architecture. And uh, I hope to see you in another video. Take care.